Welcome everyone, this is Honest Restart, and this time I want to have a quick little discussion on the different third-party games or partnerships we could see showing off at Nintendo's E3 2021. Now I'm expecting that there will be a Direct, but technically, as of this recording, it still hasn't been confirmed if there will be a Direct, there probably will be, but I'm just saying it hasn't been confirmed yet. But either way, the games that I'll be talking about in this video, I think will be games that have a pretty good chance to show up around that E3 time, June 12th to 15th. Games that will be coming to Nintendo Switch that Nintendo has partnered with some other sort of third party company to get to the Switch. They may not be published by Nintendo, they may be published by Nintendo. But basically this video is meant to talk about all the other games beyond your typical Mario, Zeldas, Kirby's, Pokemon, Donkey Kongs. Something beyond that. So that's what we're focusing on today. Now before we jump into things, let me very quickly talk about my social media. You may see a few different things here on screen. You can check that all out. It's linked in the description below. And of course, if you like what you're seeing here, you can subscribe. So to get things started, let's first talk about the games that are already officially announced that I think we'll probably be seeing to some extent at E3 2021. One of them is Monster Hunter Stories. This game is coming out in July. Nintendo has been hard pushing Monster Hunter. They definitely put some money to get these games onto the Nintendo Switch. Monster Hunter Rise is seeing incredible sales and it's getting updates every month so you can be sure to maybe expect another update perhaps announced at E3 2021 that could be coming in the near future. We may not be ready to see like that paid DLC that will be coming to Monster Hunter Rise, it's like a larger expansion similar to Iceborne in Monster Hunter World, but definitely they will at least announce another free update or maybe some sort of crossover update, something like that, and then perhaps a little bit later on in the year we'll see like that bigger Iceborne level of update. If we get it at E3, hey, I will not complain, but based off how long it took for us to see Iceborne announced after Monster Hunter World, I feel like we might be a little bit too soon into the life cycle for Monster Hunter Rise. That said, I expect to see some sort of DLC update for Monster Hunter Rise and also another update on Monster Hunter Stories 2 during some sort of Nintendo Direct. Another partnership we, that we know about already is between Nintendo and Square. We know that they're working on Project Triangle Strategy, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see another update on that, similar to how we got a lot of updates for both Bravely Default and Octopath Traveler. I'm expecting we'll be getting updates every major direct or so for this game. I do think it's supposed to come out around early 2022, so an update at E3 2021 seems like a decent bet. Another game we recently just got an update on that's coming to Nintendo Switch is No More Heroes 3. It is coming out this August. The most recent overview trailer I actually feel like looked pretty good. In prior trailers I've seen of the game, I felt like the resolution was fairly lacking. There's something weird about the visual look of the game, but it seems like in this most recent trailer, it's been polished up a bit. So I'm looking forward to seeing this game at E3. Perhaps we could see it during the Treehouse. Maybe actually see some extended gameplay. That would be nice. So this is one of those games that it has been hyped up for a while already and I definitely feel like it will certainly get some sort of nod at Nintendo's E3. Now before we get to some of the more speculative things or unannounced things that I think we could be seeing, there's two more big games that I think there's a really good chance we'll be seeing at E3. The most likely one is Shin Megami Tensei 5. This was announced back in January of 2017. We still haven't seen any actual gameplay for the game, although last year we finally got a legitimate trailer. So I'm thinking this year we are going to be seeing this game because, well, the game is slated for this year, for 2021. So I'm expecting to get a big trailer with actual extensive gameplay shown off there with an actual release date sometime in late 2021. And perhaps we'll even see some sort of demo during the Treehouse as well. Fans of this series, you can rest assured you're finally going to learn about Shin Megami Tensei 5. Probably. On the note of games we've been waiting a long time to get updates for though, there's also Bayonetta 3, another game that was announced back in 2017. We have seen interviews from Kamiya suggesting that we will be seeing updates this year, so yeah, I think we're going to get an update at the biggest event of the year in terms of Nintendo news or just gaming news as a whole. Very likely, in my opinion, we do see Bayonetta 3 to some extent at E3. Will it come out this year? I don't know, but we'll probably find out at E3 2021. And before anyone says, hey, Bayonetta is by Nintendo, yes and no, because Platinum Games is a third-party company and developer. Nintendo publishes Bayonetta 3, 
So it's a bit of a blurred line situation here, but the point of this video is simply to talk about a lot of those third-party partnerships regardless of where on the line they fall in terms of second party or third party. And on that note, there's another game I want to bring up that isn't officially announced yet that I think is very likely going to be announced at E3 2021. And that's a game from Mercury Steam. Now, Mercury Steam isn't owned by Nintendo, but they were contracted to do Metroid Samus Returns back on the 3DS and that came out in 2017. It's been a few years. There were several interviews suggesting that they had a strong interest in making more. There are rumors pointing towards a Metroid announcement at E3 2021. And I believe they are the developers that have been working on the next 2D Metroid. And I think we will learn about this during the show. And on the note of Metroid, I do think we could be seeing a Fortnite announcement. Now, if you don't know what I'm referring to, basically there has been this legal case going on between Apple and Epic, and basically a lot of plans sort of came out to the public that shouldn't have been seen that have revealed quite a few things about what Epic was planning for Fortnite. For example, they were planning Master Chief and Kratos. Both of those have come to fruition, but another one that was planned apparently, or at least discussed, was Samus. So while it hasn't happened yet, maybe once Nintendo actually announces an actual game we can sort of see footage for and they can market it to, Maybe they'll also have this Samus and Fortnite thing become a reality so it could offer more exposure for the Metroid franchise. If it's going to happen, I feel like it's going to happen at this E3. So we'll see. At this point, we are diving deeper and deeper into rumor territory. So I'll put out a couple of the games I think could be announced, but I'm not saying are super, super likely. And these are a remaster of Dark Souls 2 and a port of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Why am I bringing these up? Just because, well, one, we got Dark Souls remastered a while ago on Nintendo Switch, and we also have seen a fair number of Dragon Ball games come to Switch after their initial releases on the bigger platforms. So I do feel like these two are fairly decent bets, and they have been circulating in a few different rumors. However, these are the kind of rumors I typically do not cover. I'm simply bringing them up as possibilities because they are the kind of games I would expect to be poured over or brought to Switch at some point or another. With all the known stuff out of the way, and the very likely Metroid thing out of the way, and some of the smaller rumor things out of the way, I now want to talk about things that I think are fairly likely, but are not confirmed yet. So, one of them has to do with this Microsoft-Nintendo collaboration. We've been talking about it already, but we don't know what it is. We are continually seeing Microsoft put up official streams and having to switch in the background along with other Xbox systems. There's been a lot of different social media posts and hints of something Nintendo related with the different official Microsoft social media accounts. And of course, Microsoft has been publishing games on Nintendo Switch for a while already. And also we have seen Minecraft Steve and Banjo-Kazooie add to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. With all of this and some other rumors coming from insiders and such supposedly it does feel like something is brewing something is coming from these two companies but what is it is it game pass is it rare replay is it a master chief collection is it something else i don't know but there is a possibility we do see it at e3 it may take a little bit longer we might not see it until a little bit later into the year but e3 does seem like an ideal time to make a major announcement and both Nintendo and Microsoft are both confirmed to be having a presence at E3. Maybe this is something they want to show off together. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm not sure what it is. Not yet. But definitely something is coming from them. And I think it might be a little bit bigger than previous things. But we'll see. If you look over the history of Nintendo consoles during the 21st century, most of them had at least one ground up Sonic game or at the very least, they had multiple pretty awesome, prominent Sonic games. And it's not that we haven't gotten Sonic games on Switch, but we still haven't gotten like a ground up new one. And we may not see that, but considering the history of us getting ground up Sonic games and how successful the Nintendo Switch is, I do find it to be quite peculiar that we haven't seen any announcement for one yet and we're so far into the Switch's life cycle. That said, there is apparently plans 
to celebrate Sonic's next big anniversary, and supposedly there will be some Sonic games announced for the anniversary. I know, big shocker. So I'm just gonna put it out there that there's a pretty decent chance we see something about Sega announced at E3, and maybe we finally see some sort of ground up new Sonic game announced for Nintendo Switch. That would be amazing, that would be super exciting. If you look at some of the ground up efforts we've seen on the Nintendo Switch, they're pretty impressive. Look at Monster Hunter Rise. When a third party company puts all their eggs into one basket of a project like Monster Hunter Rise, it's pretty impressive. So I feel like if Sega were to do this, this Sonic game would be pretty darn cool. Not sure if it's happening, but maybe. That all said, there is a Sonic game that I feel could be around the corner, and that is a Sonic Colors remaster. Recently, we saw a listing for one. It seems like that would be the kind of game that would make a lot of sense to remaster. It's one of the better, higher quality 3D Sonic games. It was one of the ground up Sonic games that were made for the Nintendo Wii. So perhaps for Sonic's anniversary, we'll be seeing Sonic Colors come to various platforms, including the Nintendo Switch. Now I got one more project for you that I feel pretty confident is actually happening. Can't guarantee it for sure, I don't know it for sure, but I believe we will be seeing an announcement about a game coming from Ubisoft at E3 2021. Maybe it takes a little bit longer for it to be announced, maybe it's not coming out this year. So I could be wrong there, but I do think this game is happening. And this game is a sequel to Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle. There were a few interviews suggesting that there would be a strong interest in making a sequel for this game. The game even had the Donkey Kong expansion DLC come out a year later in 2018. And it's pretty common to see Nintendo and Ubisoft work together. There seemed to be a really strong relationship that was born from Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle. The developers are very stoked to make the game. It performed pretty darn well. I feel like there's a really good chance we see the fruits of those efforts of what are they been working on since they finished that game around this time. And I think it is a sequel to Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle. So maybe we see that announced at Nintendo's E3 2021 or maybe Ubisoft's presentation. One or the other, but I think it's happening. It's also worth noting that we did see some social media updated to sort of match the Mario Rabbids sort of style on their Rabbids Twitter account, so it could very well be a hint towards this exact project. And that's pretty much all I got in terms of what I'm sort of speculating right now in terms of third party games or partnerships we could be seeing sometime around E3 2021. Some of these things may come out later on, some of these things may not happen, but I think there's a pretty good chance that a lot of these we will be seeing this June. I'm sure there are other things, so if you guys have other ideas, for sure let me know in the comments below. I may have missed a few things, so please share it with me in the comments below. I'd love to learn more or get other ideas. But that's all for now. Anyways, everyone, this is Andres Restart. Thank you so much for listening and watching, and I'll see you all really soon. Take care. Bye.